ओके वी वर डूइंग फोर्सेस एंड एक्विलिब्रियम एंड नो वी विल सॉल्व सम एग्जांपल्स रिलेटेड टू फोर्सेस एंड एक्विलिब्रियम इन दिस एग्जांपल देर वाज अ स्ट्रिंग ए बी एंड वी हैव पुट अ रिंग आर ऑफ मास 0.8 केजी एट दिस स्ट्रिंग एंड अ फोर्स ऑफ एक्स न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड एट दिस रिंग आर सो आफ्टर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ this force x newton we have two components of uh, this string this this is component ar and this is component br this component ar is making the angle of uh, 50 degree and this component br is making angle of 20 degree with the horizontal surface and uh, after application of this force x newton there will be a tension in both portions of this string ab and uh, we will have same force of tension p along this portion ar and along this portion rb first of all we need to find tension in the string and then we need to find value of this force x okay now this force p has two components this is uh, horizontal component and this is vertical component its horizontal component will be t cos 50 and its vertical component will be t sin 50 similarly this force will have its horizontal and vertical component this component will be equal to t cos 20 and this component will be equal to t sin 20 plus we have weight of this string which is because we can see that mass of this string is 0.8 kg so its weight will be 8 newton <coughs> so we have resolved all forces into vertical and horizontal components and uh, if we talk about the horizontal components we you know that some of all forces acting parallel will be equal to zero okay now if we talk about the uh, parallel forces we will have uh, this force x will be equal to t cos 50 degree plus t cos 20 degree x will be equal to t cos 50 plus t cos 20 and if you talk about the forces which the perpendicular forces or the vertical forces we will have uh, t sin 50 will be equal to t sin 20 plus 8 newton okay now we can have a relation 8 over sin 50 minus sin 20 we can find the force of tension using this relation and uh, we will have uh, 8 over sin 50 let me calculate this value of t it, it sin 50 minus sin 20 so we will have uh, 18.7 newton 18.7 newton this is the value of t and uh, we can substitute this value over here we know that it is 18.7 into cos 50 plus 18.7 it is cos 50 plus cos 20 into 18.7 so that will become cos 50 plus plus cos 20 multiplied by 18.7 so that will be 29.5 newton so this is the solution of this example now look at this example 
we have uh, a surface we have a surface which is we are we have a surface which is making an angle 35 degree with this horizontal axis and uh, there is a body of mass m the mass of this body is 15 kg and uh, in first part this block this block is at rest and uh, we need to show that the reaction force is 123 newton okay okay we know that uh, the weight of uh, this block is 150 newton so this component will be w the whole uh, the component which is perpendicular to this uh, surface will be w cos 35 and this will be w sine 35 so if we talk about the component which are perpendicular to this surface we will have uh, this relation we have this relation uh, will be equal to w cos 35 and we know that the weight of this body is 150 so that will be 150 cos 35 150 cos 35 so that is 122.8 it is almost equal to 123 newtons so this was our first part we wanted to prove that the reaction force is 123 newtons okay now look at the solution of second part we have same object in second part in first case if we apply a force x if we apply this force x this body start this body starts moving downward and if we apply a force 5x this body starts moving upward we have these two conditions that uh, after application of this force x the body comes downward the body starts coming downward and after application of this force 5x this body starts moving upward we need to find uh, the force x and the coefficient of friction between uh, the block and this surface okay again uh, we will we will use same method we will resolve components of uh, these forces that this component this is weight and this component is 150 cos 35 and this component is 150 sine 35 but after application of this force x this body is moving downward so we can see that in this case the motion is downward so we will have a frictional force which is opposite to the direction of movement and in this case the frictional force will be downward because in this case the body is moving upward and we have same values for uh, like this will be 150 cos 35 and uh, this will be 150 sine 35 okay now we will resolve we will uh, write separately the horizontal components and uh, vertical components okay if we select this figure this diagram the parallel components will be f 
plus x will be equal to 150 sine 35. These are the parallel components. And uh, if we resolve the forces in parallel components for this diagram we will have uh, another relation the parallel components of forces in this diagram will be 150 sine 35 plus f will be equal to 5x Now, <clears throat> we will solve these two forces, we will solve these two equations and we will be, we will be able to find the value of uh, x and friction. Okay, we can solve these two equations simultaneously. This equation is uh, f plus x is equal to 150 sine 35 and this is uh, 5x minus f. equal to 150 sine 35 we can see that this is 6x and this is 300 sine 35 so x will be equal to 300 into sine 35 over 6 we can find x from this relation 300 sine 35 divided by 6 so it is 28.6 newton this is x 28.6 newton and uh, if we substitute this value over here the the we can find the value of friction it is 150 sine 35 minus 28.6 so we will be able to find the value of friction let me find this 150 uh, sine 35 minus 28.6 so the value of friction here is 57.4 newton 57.4 newton this is the value of friction because we need to find the coefficient of friction we know that friction is equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied by the reaction force 